Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing with some steel bait which is loved by ones, hated by the others. Either way, it's gonna be the uh, deck of my choice for today. I'm gonna play a rolling steel against this bomb girl because it looks like we're gonna be having a I was about to say mirror matchup of steel baits. But since he shows me the uh, mother skeleton. I'm instantly forced to uh, uh, negate this uh, sentence because obviously it's not gonna be a mirror matchup. We're gonna be playing uh, against someone with bomb girl and uh, uh, and von Keck, but it's not gonna be the mirror matchup. I think uh, it's gonna be actually very different. At least. If he doesn't have uh, another tricks up his sleeve, so my opponent will be playing a uh, von Hort at the bridge, and uh, well, uh, what I was actually trying to say is uh, this: uh, today's variation will be a little deviation from the standard uh, steel boat. As normally you have this ice tiny as a good uh, support uh, slash uh, cycle card which will usually uh, be beneficial against like big pushes or uh, or air decks to just defend uh, obviously very handy to have uh, and today we're gonna be doing uh, neither of this because uh, we're gonna play a skeletons instead of that uh, m many players actually tried this substitution recently I'm gonna be trying uh, if it's even good so that's gonna be pretty much the intro for today's video and right now let's just focus on the game because it appears that my opponent will be actually playing uh, uh, the steel bait but with the deviation that he's not gonna be having a missile he's gonna be playing uh, with the uh, thingy uh, with the mother skeleton instead of that which is obviously a very weird choice because Usually you wouldn't uh, think that uh, the, this card is a substitution, usually it's gonna be like a very weird deviation, which I'm absolutely not against, at the same time I don't think it's the optimal uh, deviation and uh, to be quite frank, honest, I don't think my opponent has any chances to beat me uh, with this weird variation because uh, I'm a pretty competitive guy and honestly, if you're not playing the most competitive variation, uh, it will be very difficult for you to get anything uh, from it. We're gonna play a phone uh, and uh, already at this point we're in a missile range when I can just send one missile and that's gonna be game over. GG's nice play, that's gonna be the first game of today's video, relatively easy because uh, even if the game would be like locked and my opponent would have uh, perfect defenses, I think the missile is always better than Mother Skeleton. So my opponent wasn't able to cause any trouble for me. Let's jump to the game number two. All right, and the next game will be against Sasun, and he's gonna be playing a three gunners right off the bat first play, which is definitely not a good play, just uh, because of the reason that you see on the screen. Especially if you're playing 3 gunners first play and it's everything uh, on the one single line, that's definitely not good. And yeah, I'm gonna be just taking this absolutely fabulous trade. Also, my opponent doesn't stop him. I didn't even manage to introduce him because he just played so quickly. And yeah, I'm gonna just... <laughs> basically take all the trades he gives me. This bomb tower will defend the uh, phone horde, but obviously it's gonna be still a bad trade. I'm gonna actually get a prediction against his thief, which is very hilarious. And I'm gonna just play uh, phone cake. Uh, slightly in the back, he's gonna play the phone cake uh, on his own, and I think actually, uh, yeah, my, my bomb there was pretty much uh, enough to counter it. I'm gonna take a bit of damage from his uh, phone horde, but it doesn't really matter because I've done a huge amount of damage on well, his tower. I'm gonna just cycle the phone horde once again. Let's try to get some more damage and if he doesn't react to that, I think that's gonna be tower down, which is always nice to see. And at this point, I don't think my opponent will actually try to uh, play for a win anymore. 
we're gonna have to obviously see but yeah he's not playing any cards and I'm pretty much saddening because uh, he kinda uh, quit instantly after we got some good interactions uh, at the start of the game but at the same time it's gonna be pretty good lesson for him that you should never ever under any circumstances play the three gunners as the first play uh, behind your tower because yeah you're gonna just get slapped to the face and that's not good that's that just not good all right so that's gonna be the game number two of today's video let's jump to the game number three shall we and the next opponent of today's video will be a brahman who will start with the phone cake pretty standard opening he spams outstanding for some reason i don't know it was a very natural counter to a phone cake obviously he shouldn't be expecting uh, by going into a competitive game that uh, your opponent will die to pretty much your uh, first push so uh, very outstanding to see his reaction to my defense and at the same time we're gonna be playing just a standard things that you would uh, always play against a, a player that with deck that you pretty much know nothing about so yeah uh, my opponent will be playing obviously a phone uh, keg and then he will follow it up with uh, bone blasters. It's kinda expected by the same time. It's still nothing outstanding just yet. I think I'm gonna actually play a swordsman just to protect this bomb girl because honestly why not. Very unfortunate that my other bomb girl didn't help out with uh, dealing the archer. But it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because I still have a very comfy position. My opponent will be trying to get a kill on my bombers, which is absolutely not possible because I have infinite distractions. And usually that will be a problem for him already because uh, uh, it's very it's very problematic for uh, anyone to pretty much to get on top of the uh, bomb girls, But uh, uh, I'm gonna be having twice as many distractions, so it's gonna be twice as uh, hard for my opponent to get on top of them. And then he's gonna actually get one uh, of them down. Uh, props for him for trying at least. And then we're gonna just drop a phone cake because honestly, why not? I think set before, and I'm gonna repeat it now. If you have the control of the game, you pretty much can do any play, and it's usually gonna work out uh, anyway. So uh, my opponent definitely lost the control of the of this game and i'm gonna just take three star as he gives up so yeah that's gonna be the game number three of today's video let's quickly jump to the game number four and my next opponent uh, in today's video will be a player with a very interesting name as this is gonna be the name that's gonna already tell his strategy my opponent will be named ape cycle as he cycles Super Ape and Apes, first play pretty much, and yeah, he's gonna be pretty much, uh, he's gonna get steamrolled as he puts absolutely no resistance to my push, maybe he puts any resistance, obviously I'm playing some cards and I'm willing to actually uh, take the Twister out of this guy if he gives up and he actually did, so a very bizarre game to see, obviously I wanted to play on for longer but my opponent uh, disagrees and he ends his suffering very early so yeah that's gonna be the game number four i think i'm gonna play one more game for you guys so it's gonna be six games today since the games are getting very short so yeah that's gonna be the game number four let's jump to the next game and the next game of today's video will be against sedalos trout which is very bizarre name to have I wouldn't say especially in the game like Boom Arena, but like I don't uh, get the meaning behind this name, so it's gonna be very tricky for others to understand it as well. So I'm gonna just play Missile. I think it's gonna be enough since it got a bit distracted by the Stone Phones, and I think that's gonna be pretty nice uh, crisis management. So my opponent will be playing Apes and Machine Gun, which is definitely not a composition. Well, usually when you play Machine Gun, you want to just play it over and over again until your opponent doesn't have responses and uh, the game style with apes is pretty different because you don't want to uh, set up things at the bridge you want to just overwhelm your opponent uh, i mean with apes you want to trade and with machine gun you want to like 
uh, kind of trade at the bridge, but trade in a way where your opponent has to trade on your terms, which is absolutely different way of playing. Uh, and that's why I don't think these two cars have a good synergy. I'm gonna play a Swordsman against his Bomb Girl, because honestly, why not? And I think that's gonna be already a very good position. Obviously, I'm wasting Swordsman, uh, that uh, could have been a very useful tank against the cards like the Machine Gun, but my opponent actually helps me to cycle to another, to another Swordsman, excuse me, and I think that's gonna be already a very bad position for my opponent. I'm gonna throw a phone kick just to get some damage. My opponent plays Rolling Steel, which is a okay play in theory, but he absolutely misses every single uh, phone. Like, he doesn't miss phones, but he mistimes the Rolling Steel and gets uh, pretty much a very easily cleaned up. Mine. I'm gonna actually just play things that require uh, my opponent Rolling Steel to defend because uh, it looks like my opponent is pretty confused of on what to do and I'm gonna pretty much try to capitalize on that. I'm gonna play the bomb girl right here and uh, my bomb girl actually will lock onto his machine gun which is uh, pretty weird. My opponent will actually play a cyclone here for absolutely no reason. I don't know why did he play cyclone but apparently it's his choice and I'm gonna absolutely run him over right now as my opponent has absolutely no intention of defending his position. He just gives up the game and like I said, it's pretty weird combination to see, uh, especially with Cyclone because Cyclone honestly doesn't fit uh, the playstyle of either of these archetypes. So yeah, I would say just a very bad deck composition of my opponent and not followed up with the excellent gameplay. Uh, with that being said, let's just jump to the game number five interrupt this video or I would say in a game number six because we actually had a very fast two games. And the final game of today's video will be against Kev who once again quits and I actually wanted to cut this part from my video previously. I usually don't skip games uh, in any way shape or form. Uh, the way I do it is like I kind of stop recording before I uh, before I'm about to jump to the other game so you don't like wait with me into the lobby and stuff and I'm just jumping uh, to the concrete part that uh, you guys want to see but uh, yeah I'm gonna actually do not cut this part out uh, right now because uh, my opponent is absolutely not intending to participate uh, in this game and it wasn't the first time today actually he wasn't trying to uh, participate uh, in the previous skirmish as well. I actually wanted to cut this part. It was like I believe between fourth and fifth game where uh, I had a quick blink of like a brand new game with clear towers where my opponent instantly left and I was definitely trying to cut it out but since he did it twice he has to stay on my video to prove that He's a coward which uh, just leaves the game against me and if you want to improve in the game, especially like Boom Arena, you have to face these uh, better players because uh, worse things worse, you're gonna lose the rating anyway, but you may just as well practice and if you get the practice, you may as well just learn how to play against the uh, better players and if you learn how to play against better players, you may eventually better your game yourself because you may be uh, trying your tactics against players that kind of will defend it. You learn the patterns and predictions that better players are using and basically there's no downside of playing this game. My opponent gives up twice for absolutely no reason and that's why he's gonna stay in this video and I don't think I want to play any more game because uh, at this hour the uh, matchmaking queue in Boom Arena takes very long so I'm gonna actually end this video to, uh, right here. So yeah, thanks for watching, I actually hope that you enjoyed today's uh, video. It's a little slight deviation from a normal steel bait which uh, normally contains ice tiny but today I've contained skeletons just for a bit more distraction for your liking and if you enjoy my content and aren't subscribed yet, I definitely advise you to doing so because I upload Boom Arena content every single day and you may learn something from it. You definitely don't want to miss out my uploads. So yeah, 
press subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.